Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to fix the audio aspect of your screen sharing. So if you're sharing your screen on like a live stream on Discord and no audio is going through, um, stay tuned to find out how to fix that. If you find the video helpful today, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. And if you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. So what we need to do first is open up either the Discord app or the web-based application. Um, it's the same method to do it. Um, it's just down to personal preference. So in today's example, I'll be using the web-based application. So you just want to come across and open up Discord and make sure you're logged into your account. And basically what you need to do is, um, so when I'm, I'm going to come across to my channel, so normally what you would do is go into uh, the voice channel. And then what you would do is click the button here to share your screen. Now when you get to this screen, what you want to do is basically make sure you've got either chrome tab or entire screen selected it doesn't really work on window as well um, so you can use either entire screen or chrome tab it depends what you're using of course um, but if you actually look at the very bottom you've got a little thing here which says um, share audio and what you want to do is just make sure that that box is ticked so that when you share your screen you're also sharing your audio as well. But yeah, so that's the first way. Uh, the second way, uh, the second thing you can try if your audience or fans aren't receiving audio still, if you come up to the three dots up here in the top right hand corner, and then come down and click on to settings, what you want to do from here at the search bar at the top is type uh, site settings. You want to click this option down here. And then what you want to do is basically um, a bit down the page, you should have a section called permissions. And what you want to do is just click on to microphone. And then you want to um, basically make sure this is set up on Discord. So if you scroll down the list, you've actually got a list. You can see it says here, allow to use your microphone and I've got Discord there. If I wasn't allowed to use, um, if I didn't have the permission set up, then Discord would be in this list. But to change it, there should be an arrow next to it, so like this. And what you would do is click that. And you can see this is for Discord.com, and it's come up and it's got all the permissions. And uh, this microphone might say block. But if it does, then change it to allow, to allow the microphone. That's another thing you can check. Now, if you've tried those two things and you're still getting problems, the last thing you want to do is come into Discord. So if I go back to Discord and then what you want to do is come down to the bottom and click onto this gear icon, which is user settings. And then if you look at the menu on the left hand side, if you actually scroll down slightly and underneath app settings, there's actually one here which says voice and video. So if you go and give that a click, you want to check your input device as well. So you can see in my drop down box, uh, not so much outputs for your um, audio for yourself, but you want to check that the input device. I've got a plug in USB microphone at the moment plugged into my laptop. So obviously I just want to make sure that's selected on here, which is the Razer Siren Mini. And um, yeah, what you want to make sure basically the, the right microphone is connected. Sometimes this would default to the wrong one and then it's not going to pick up my voice or any audio and that can affect it as well. Um, but that's a couple of things you can try. Hopefully that does help and resolve the issue. Um, I hope you found that helpful. And if that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. And if you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.